This kitchen is a disgrace. Definitely mentioning that in my Yelp review. Dear motherfucking the Yelp reviewers can put your tongue in my asshole. <laughs> Eye lasers. I like it. I'm gonna dip my balls in your sauce. No, no, not not the massage. He's coming through. Uh, do that again, and I flatten you like a like a dip 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 piadina. Ouch! Now that's a left-handed spatula. My turn. Hell yeah! I'm a sending you home to Mama in the doggy bag. The nerve of that villain! Feel the wrath of human kite! Another foe falls before the might of Coon and Friends. You dirty chicken, no fighter like a real man. Okay, see you guys later. We're gonna go do some real superhero shit. Great Crusaders were no match for the Kunin friends. Huh, sidekick? Clashy must have gone this way, but the path is barricaded. I could easily lift this out of our way, but I can't use my apple juice without insulin to bring me back down. Hmm, maybe we could trigger my diabetic rage somehow. Of course, with my super strength, I could knock it over, but I can't use apple juice without my insulin. We need to find a way to tip that over without resorting to apple juice. I'm such a mild-mannered superhero, it's almost impossible to push me into a state of blind rage. Except, wait, that's it. Your farts, sidekick. Your terrible farts that throw me into fits of rage. Of course. The coon wasn't trying to make me feel insecure when he told me that my mom's farts gave me diabetes. He was trying to help me unlock my true powers. We've got to get through there and get the classy sidekick. For the good of South Park. For coon and friends. I need you to fart on my face. Don't be shy. All right, ready when you are. We did it. The path is clear. It's hard for me to lose control of myself, but if we're ever in a dire situation like that again, Psychic, know that you can fart in my face.
Oh, man. We gotta tell the guys. Coon. Out. Yes, yes, Captain Diabetes. We found missing cats. A whole room of them. Dude, he scrambles one of them? We're what still about tracking what about her. We have to find out what she knows. Get going. We so close, I can smell it. Come on. There could be a boss battle coming up. Better make sure you're stocked up on healing items and have your best artifacts equipped. That was a hell of a tip. It sounds like there could be trouble behind that door. There's someone in there. Get ready. One, two, diabetes! <laughs> See, I told you the cops were chasing me. And you led them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who are you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? Let's dig it up, classy! These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom fought it during labor and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. And that is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. Along with this bitch, too. Oh shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long, Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now. Uh-oh. Ah! What the? I want my keys! I don't have your keys, man. Ah! He's wasted on red wine. The red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. You're being unreasonable, Mr. March. Let me call your wife. 
Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick. My keys. Uh-uh, that's not fair. Y'all can't be using your ass to speed up time and skip people's turns and shit. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. This might sting. I feel no pain! Give him hell, douchebag! I will save you from yourself! Look like it hurt. All evil fears the lasers of kites. Don't worry, I got you covered. Oh, thanks. Shit, shit, hang on. Sharon's texting me. I can't type. Why the fuck can't I type? Why are my thumbs so big? Hey Siri, fucking take a note and tell my wife just fuck off because I'm fighting. Poop emoji. I learned this watching daytime TV. There! Heard him. That's right, baby. We underestimated the power of red wine. We'll never give you your keys. Never. Weak and shit, you bet not lose, nigga. She sounds pissed. Which one of you assholes told Sherrod I was here? Hold on, hold on. Be home soon. Looking for my fucking keys. Heart, heart, XO. Yeah. Uh huh. Classy like the way you move. Friends are watching. I could have done it without you guys, but I'm glad you were here to watch. 
All right, I'm gonna take a cab. There! Nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes' watch. There's a kingpin trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the streets. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole start working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what, what about the cats? Oh, that cast? Okay, that's his little Asian freak name, Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cast. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine. Fast pass. Take her to your house. Okay. <laughs> And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Book of Day Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just, just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick. There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now. Who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet, or people are gonna learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or... The sixth graders. Oh, man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. Well, then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king.
How do you do that? That was dumb. All right, my lord. It's time for us to get the information we need from Classy. Any good superhero should know how to interrogate. Get over to Jimmy's house and find out what she knows. Keen, out. This is bullshit. Why do I have to stand lookout? Just shut up and keep watch, dumbass. Fuck you, I want to play with fire too. Hey man, where's Jasper? I don't know. I haven't seen him in like three days. You think he's in trouble? Maybe uh -huh. we should tell his parents or something. Dude. Ah! Grave warrior, we will meet again. <laughs> Stupid dork forthies. Ew. is now property of Coon and Friends. Welcome to Coon Town. I wonder if they can make your action figure do that. Like some kind of spring-loaded thing, maybe. I can't say no to kicking some forthy ass. Ha! Ha! Have your boyfriend massage that for you. turn now. Hey, don't look, you gay wads. Oh, I'm up? Okay. I like our odds. Don't mess this up, dickbag. Want to get off scratched up? Okay, who's the next target of my unbridled rage? Yeah. yeah, take the fight to them. I will, valued ally. Okay, calm down. Yeah. Leave our friend alone, fiend. Human kite cleared for takeoff. Here, dude. How'd you get lasers? I want lasers. Coon Claws out. Ugh. Looking sharp, Coon. Damn right, diabetes. If nothing else, beating on you guys is really therapeutic for me. Took that like a champ, Forthy. Captain Guy B, prepare to strike. Ow. Don't you know how to read a room? Next time, leave before things get awkward. For Forthy Scum, you guys are kind of scrappy. Fill her up. Not sure if you know, but hell hath no fury like Wrath of Kite. Human kite. By the power of 
invested in my laser eyes. I know. We fucking rocked that. God has a plan for me, and it's to get over this damn hangover. Gosh, darn it, I don't think that vigilante's setting a good example for the young folks. Darn it, kiddo, why can't you just sit home and read the funny books like a normal fella?
Here, kitty, kitty. Come on, kitty. Come out wherever you are, kitty. Ah! Who wants the first cut? Fuck him up, butthole. Ready to get maimed. Make way for King. Ugh. That went to apply some light pressure to those wounds. Good news, Forthies. I'll get you next turn. Yeah. Can you believe I don't have any formal fight training? a cure for diabetes. If you excuse me, I have a balloon to piss you. Lasers online. Pew, pew. Smooth sailing. It's go time, butt lord. Yow. Well done, butthole. Are you a hemophiliac? Let's find out. Ha! <laughs> well struck, combatant, but diabetes will prevail. Coup de torment. Ooh, ha -ha. You give me strength! Pretty bad, Captain, but I think you inspired them a little too. Ha! It's kite flying time. Ah. <laughs> now that's how you give the third degree. Fuck him up, new kid. Oh. Okay, I admit it, but Lord, you got some potential. This one's all me. Cool stuff on wildlife shows. Behold the true power of diabetes! Yeah. Ah. And diabetes claims another victim. This is the part where the bad guys regret their life choices. Wait, that's the farting vision. I suppose no one bullies you around, little superhero. At least not too much. Hey, you're famous, kid. Uh, not now, kid. I'm trying to pick up chicks. I got new stuff that make them Napa wine snobs shit their chinos.
Take it easy, superhero. I don't take kindly to folks who take selfies, but let's take one anyway. Great, see you later, kid. Uh, not now, kid. I'm trying to pick up chicks. It's not Halloween yet, little boy. I don't have any damn candy. Remember when Superman movies weren't so depressing? Oh, yeah, I mean, big. Oh, I remember. Remember when Batman's bat suit had nipples? Of course I remember, but I wish I did. Ever heard of personal space? Oh man, it's butthole. I was out last night at the hippo and lost my wallet. If you find it, I'll give you a reward. Got some new gear in stock, butthole. It's your lucky day. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. All right, you keep hunting down that crab. Super butthole. What a base superhero. Okay. You go get those. guys now You on patrol, little superhero? Well, I feel better already. Anything for a deputy in training. I'm really learning how to connect with you youngsters. Kid, I need to devote my full attention. Hot tip, get the city tofu extra city. New items on menu, very special. So wrong.
In the old days, before cell phones, if you got separated at the mall, you had to find a new family. And now you got a problem with me! I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity! I wasn't insulting him. Excuse me! Did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired? Yes, he's my friend. I said, Paolo, you look tired. Microaggression! Ah, ah, ah. Persons of Hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy and saying they look tired is a microaggression that will not stand! But I am tired. Oh, oh, ah. You! You're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school. My name is PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me. Come on, you want to learn about race, right? Give me your best shot. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. It's a nice day, isn't it? Hmm, yes, very good. That was indeed not a microaggression. All right, round two. I ate a hamburger last week. All right, that was also not a microaggression. This time I will use a microaggression and you will see how it gives you a free shot. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm about to use a microaggression, but it's only for the use of training this young person in the ways of the social justice warrior. Thank you, Michael Christian. About to happen. Thank you. My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggression. Hit him. My friend Brian looks like a chick. Oh! oh. Not bad, kid. Not bad at all. Not only is the word chick derogatory to females, but also criticizing a male for looking feminine is a microaggression towards a person of transgender. Now let's see if you can spot a microaggression that's more subtle. My pants are warm. My pants are warm. Wrong! My pants are warm is not a microaggression! That coffee belongs to Tim Sherman. I heard it's going to rain. Janet likes to roller skate. Mr. Yamashiro is actually a very good driver. Microaggression! Hit him! Uh, uh. Nice kid, very nice indeed. Using the term actually inferred that maybe other Asian Americans are not good drivers. And the use of Mr. is offensive to persons of third gender. Now before we talk about your race, I need you to get out there and do some PC work for me. I'll let you know when I think you're ready. People use microaggressions every day. I'm counting on you to make them pay for doing so. A true warrior is understanding, non-biased, and as politically correct as possible. Well, aren't you a brave little whatever you are? Sure, let's do it. You sure are the weirdest superhero I've seen all day. Okay, I'll follow you. Thanks, kid. But that was a real cool picture. Crime fighting's not a game, vigilante. You're gonna get somebody killed. Oh!
I would like to express my willingness to follow you on social media. Do you consent? Thank you very much. I look forward to a meaningful and respectful relationship. Apologize this instant. <laughs> Smells like shit's really hitting the fan. Keep your gas in your ass, Peckerhead! <laughs> 